My name is Andrew Melton and I'm the music director. Uh, really cool, it, it just says Ron and Gloria together on like the repeated chorus, Safe House of Love, but I think it's really cool when they alternate, kind of Yeah, absolutely. Safe House of Love, Safe House of Love. Safe house of love. I need to rehearse with the actors and choose uh, keys and tempos that are right for their vocal ranges and make sure everybody knows the songs. We fight against termites and we fight off crabgrasses. You think you're cheap with honor, the free working grass. Uh, in a Broadway musical, you usually get a little more rehearsal. You get to, you get to <laughs> really learn the music and really rehearse it. And some days here on the set of Open House, we've learned the music and then five minutes later shot what we learned. <laughs> back, from the, back from the beginning. Bye everyone. Thank you, everybody. I couldn't have got I couldn't have got my own. No, 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 I, I couldn't have got my old house back if you hadn't been in it. With the bedroom over there. And the two more up the stairs. Which is, you know, has its own charm. The sort of fly by the seat of your pants think, you know, some really fun things can happen in, in those kinds of circumstances. Um, that's one of the big differences. And uh, actually play piano on set during shooting so that the uh, actors can, can get the right pitches and stuff because uh, that's the, the vocal track that we'll use in the, in the final film. Is Andrew up there? So later we'll go back and add other instruments, but uh, that'll be the, the vocal track that we use. Thank you, Andrew. We just love to sing. So Robert Altman has uh, done this, and uh, Woody Allen <coughs> for Everyone Says I Love You. I think it, it looks, uh, obviously it looks real, it is real, there's no, there's no dubbing later, so there's no chance that uh, the lips won't quite match the singing or anything like that. I'm, I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. Don't you think you're going to have some problems in the mixing it? My job during shooting is kind of funny. I, uh, I play the songs on piano, but as soft as possible because we don't want to hear the piano. We only want to hear the actors singing, and then we'll add other instruments in post, and so we don't want that piano to get in the way. So when everything is perfect, you don't hear me. Only the actor who's singing hears me. Passages that have a definite pulse, I have a metronome that uh, just has a light flashing. If you hear the click, that would be on the final film, but I'm staring at that light flashing, and I know exactly what my tempo is. And, you know, I'm pretty sure none of these cast members have done this before. Their job is to listen to my piano playing but pretend it's not there because they're just acting and it's just it's interesting for everybody. Step onto the set with the likes of Anthony and Anne and have them actually truly lift lift you up to the par of the scene effortlessly. I've had so much pleasure watching my fellow actors and enjoying their inventiveness and, and comic genius come forward. Oh, he's great. He's really good. Yeah. And I don't even hold it against him that he's a music theater guy. It's okay, Anthony. We all got to work, you know? Got to pay the bills, I don't know. Rent, something like that. In the end, it was all worth it. Now you feel with worth. No, because you got great, I mean, you know, Anthony, you know, Rent on Broadway, all these people that are, you know, good singers, I mean, fantastic singers, and it's just tough to follow. Uh, Anthony did a song on, uh, I think it was Wednesday, uh, about it, It's My House, and it was wonderful. I mean, you know, you'd pay 80 bucks to see him on Broadway, and you're getting paid to work with him, it's kind of cool. Hey, I'm doing an interview, could you shut up? Um, they can all sing. Uh, they wouldn't be in this... Uh, 
project if they couldn't sing, but they're just, they wouldn't call themselves professional singers. Is this a musical? And he's like, yeah, I go, I don't sing. And he goes, well, that could be a problem. The point is to not sound like a professional singer. So it's an unusual kind of feel that we're going for. Oh, I said to Dan, I said, well, you know, I, maybe get me a voice coach. He goes, by tomorrow? <laughs> and I go, that could be a problem, yeah. And that fine line between sounding good but not sounding like, you know, opera or anything flashy. But working with uh, Andrew, you know, he burned a CD for me, the song. I gotta tell you, I was petrified. Yikes, and I don't think anybody else has learned it in two seconds and uh, hit it, you know. It's wonderful. And I know my song, but it's these little bits and pieces that I'm like, you know, whoa. For instance, today, they added to the song, Marva Fully Wondrous, you know, uh, just a little, sounds easy just to say it, you know, when you're singing Gloriific Fantabulous. <laughs> it's not easy to remember for me. The dancing. And action. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, we just made it up as we went along, didn't we? I mean, there was a little choreography at the end. I think there was a twirl that just came out of nowhere. We're here with uh, Christine, our choreographer, and Andrew. So you might want to close the door as you're picking up. I don't know, I'm afraid I'm going to pull her skirt off. Okay, let's go. I dug it, and, I, and, I, and it was pretty amazing how quick, you know, people picked it up and, you know, how I picked it up pretty quick. It was, I mean, the court, uh, what, what's her name again? Christine? Kristen. Kristen did a really good job. Everybody was awesome, man. Everybody in work was so great. Okay, agree that that's what I'm going to choreograph and I'll work on it while you're shooting with it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's very exciting and very fun, and I think that people are so funny in this, and I hope people agree. Um, and it's, you know, great to, to jump around on a lawn with non-dancing non-singers <laughs> and pretend to dance. You know, all that stuff is very fun. And then the second take, I don't know if you'll use it, I tried to get a little gangsta, try to throw out some gang signs, but I think it just ended up being some stuff I remember from playing Helen Keller. Wah-wah. Wah-wah. They want to sing it, it'll be tax deductible. <laughs> Use for business, it'll be tax deductible. Safe house of love. Safe house of love. What? The level of professionalism. You kind of sang into my hair. <laughs> <laughs>